the hell? Aftermarket, here we go. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, the Chevy Silverado has cost me more money. Now, I need to put a brake caliper on the driver's side of the Chevy Silverado because I can smell brakes. And when you smell brakes, it normally means what's next you're not gonna like. So I'm gonna take, you know, the hundred bucks that I've been saving up to work on my golf cart and spend it on the Silver Silverado again. Hey, it is what it is, I guess. Sometimes these vehicles cost us more than what we wanna spend, they do. But you gotta be able to drive. Just let it keep cocking us over. It's better than spending money on a new truck, that's for sure. For a new truck, it costs me over 500 bucks a month. I'll go with the hundred bucks a month plan. Every time the truck needs something, it's a hundred bucks. Careful. Why wouldn't I? So I end up getting these, a brand new caliper, not a reman caliper. He told me I'm better off to get a brand new caliper and not a reman caliper. So he said, hey, why not? I was like, but who makes it? Because, you know, nowadays, just because it's brand new doesn't mean it's good. Normally it means it's shit. So we're gonna try a brand new one on here. There's no core charge on it. And we're gonna see what happens. And that's about all I can tell you right now. When you're starting this job, make sure you take, the first thing you do is take your brake fluid cap off. Or you'll just spray it all over your face and around your mouth. Friggin' right you will. I'm kind of hoping to get this done before it starts raining again. That's not gonna f***ing work, is it? Because I didn't feel like pulling the garage and I've already got it jacked up, so guess what? <coughs> She's staying where she is. <coughs> oh, the Torker 10,000's back out. I traded the 500 in for the <coughs> 10,000, just in case you you're wondering. So there we go, that's off. That was easy, it was definitely this one. Look at all the dust on that thing. She's definitely seasoned up. Frig, why wouldn't it? Gosh darn it, I'll be dipped. I shut my door with a key in the ignition. That wasn't very smart. You know what happened last time I did that? Just throw it on the window. So now we need some more tools and whatnots. Actually, I'm just gonna go this way. We'll use these tools right here because normally I have everything I need in here. That way I'm not walking back and forth. That damn garage I normally, you know, walk back and forth to. Can you see? Probably not. How about now? Sure you can. So what I'm gonna do here is, this is gonna come off and go on the new caliper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the new caliper up here and take this off and transfer it right to the new caliper so I don't lose too much fluid. Plus, it's probably not a bad idea to get the new caliper out. Make sure that you can sold you the right one. Cause if you're anything like me, a lot of times, I never get the right one. Oh my God, it comes with everything on this thing. Look at this. Hey, jeez, man. Looks like it. Friggin' right, it looks like it. That's awesome. Even comes a little. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do, if you can see, is whip out these nuts right here. Careful. Holy. Okay, where's my doodad? Come here, doodad. You're going to work right now. Oh, frig. Of course I gotta hold that. Right on. <coughs> Well, that one come out. <coughs> there it goes. So that can come off like so. And then, oh, look at it. This can go up here like so. And we'll take off that. Maybe. Are you looking or are my balls? They said we'll take off that. Pay attention, would you? I cock things all over, not even paying attention to me. So we got new O-rings. We're ready to go there. That's not even close to what I need. Oh, it's actually coming off. Oh, look at her leak already. Okay, we're gonna have to do this really fast. Frig, I need something on the ground. I don't want to put all that on my driveway. We use the catch it all 9,000 here. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's got new crush rings. There's one. Okay, the other one we don't need to worry about. I should have had these out right now. But they're not, you know, why would they be? We'll put that crush ring on there, like so. And we'll put that crush ring on here, like so. And we'll put the nuts through it, like so. And we'll put it on here, like so. And we'll tighten her up, Jim, before we lose everything. Ooh, eh? We need the cranker pretty good. We gotta crush on it ring. Oh, don't wanna get too carried away though. Do we? No, we don't. We'll snug her all up some more there once we get her on and mounted. We'll get out the torque wrench. And I'm sure it's gonna be torqued to a certain amount. So we'll check into that. We'll get that done. But for now, let's get this part off now. Which should be the same nuts as this one. So I might be able to hit it with this. <coughs> Decent. <coughs> Friggin' right it can. So we can set that aside. Now, we'll whack this thing off. Might as well use the new one. Wrong size. Next. Careful. <laughs> one, two, oh, good catch, Mr. Bucket. So big pads are still good, thank God. One less expense. There we go. 
So now we'll put the new thingamajigger on, but we gotta make sure this thing is oiled. And it sure is, it's all greased ready to rock. So we don't have to do anything to it. So we'll slap this on here, like this. We'll take our bolts with all the hair around it and we'll stick them back on. There's one and there's two. So now we'll tighten that up. Perfect, that's on. Throw the brake pads back on. They're different, they are. Oh, on the different side. That's not the right brake pad. Let's uh, put the right one on the right side here. There it is. Eh, hey, eh, eh, hey, hey. Oh, that goes, who the hell put that on there? This is gonna go down this way. What happened? Well, those are kind of goofy. I will say that right now. Wow, that's dick. Need to get out my never sees. Cause you know, I believe a never sees not break, whatever the hell you call it. Never sees is just as good. There's one. So now I'll put that in, which is absolutely no fucking good like that. It's right against a fucking thing. Like what the hell? Aftermarket, here we go. I'm gonna lose my shit here in a minute. Okay, had enough of that already. Using the old ones. Hey look, they actually fit how they're supposed to. Fucking kidding me right now. Wow, that's how they're supposed to look. And that's how they look. They're coming off and we're gonna use the originals. They're gonna right there. <laughs> Perfect. Now brake pads. Perfect. One, two. Wipe the hands off. Put a little bit of never sees on the back side of the old doodads. There we go. Keep them squeaky. Slap on the new caliper, like so. Perfect. Bolts. Oh, are those the new ones? Hold on. Where's the new ones? You better use the new ones. I'm hooked on something. What am I hooked on? Airline. Frig. Where the f they go? Oh, here they are. Slide them in there, like so. Come on, baby. There we go. Slide that in there, like so. There we go. Take Mr. One, Two, Three here. Get on there. Good. We'll give the crush nut a little bit more crush. She's 11 millimeter. Oh my God, what is in my airline? 11 millimeter. We'll give it a little bit more of a crush. Oh, that feels good, Jim. There we go, we don't want her leaking. So that's on, no leaks. We'll pull this off and we'll let her drip bleed a little bit to fill up the chamber. We'll wait a few minutes here. Sometimes you can cheat and gravity will win, eh? And it will actually fill it up a little bit so you don't have too much air in there. Sometimes, you'll we'll have to see. I might have to get the daughter out here to pump the brakes a little bit because I don't have a vacuum sucker. I don't think I have a vacuum sucker. I do not have a vacuum sucker. So let's leave that a little bit loose. We'll put the lid on and I'll pump it up a little bit. See if we can't get some fluids down here. Keep your eyes on that, would you? There she is. Careful, tighten that up. And now we'll pump up the brakes. Hey Mel, come here, I need you. Get in the truck. Why? I want you to pump the brakes. Push on the brake pedal, and then when I say hold it, hold it down. Then when I say let go, let it go, okay? And you'll feel the pedal go down. Okay, hold it tight. Are you pushing down? Okay, don't stop pushing. Okay, let go. Pump it again. Okay, I'm holding. Hold it. Okay, we should be good. Thank you. Right on. So there we go, there's a new brake caliper on. Friggin' right it is. Hopefully this was the right side, eh, Mel? Thanks for your help, Mel, I appreciate it. it makes it a lot easier. So this is the actual GM. Brake caliper, I'll be dipped. And this is an aftermarket. So let's see how long this actually lasts. I bet you a couple weeks. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Geotech, definitely. 100% new components. How about 100% Chinese? Let's see. Made in China, just what I thought. This should actually last about 20 minutes. That thing just flowed a whole lot of good shit out of it. So we're gonna hold on to this for a couple days just to make sure that this is the right side because that was a hundred dollars. But I think if it's not, we're just gonna change the other side anyways. And actually the fluids still mint. We don't even need fluid. So there you go. That's uh, changing the caliper with dirty old Bill. So if hopefully you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And hey, leave any comments down below to what you would have done differently than me. I'm sure there's a bunch of different things you would have done differently, but that's how I did it. And it seemed to work just fine. Freaking right it did. Only time will tell. I can tell this was getting hot. It definitely was sticking. So I think we got the right side. I almost guarantee it. Cause this one felt a little funny when I worked on the truck last. But I'm glad you're all here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome any new subscribers. Until the next one. You know what to do for now.